Hello and welcome to today's Menopause Ramblings, which I'm now going to start calling it because I am rambling on forever. So I wanted to do an update on what happened with the doctors and I thought it would be easier if I videoed this one because I've got quite a bit of information I want to share with you today. Um, whether you find it useful or not, I don't know. Um, some people are finding it useful, some people just probably think I'm talking out of my butt. But um, so yeah, the doctor basically said um, she phoned me and she'd consulted with another doctor and they both agreed that it would be fine for me to take HRT if I wanted to, even with the risk of breast cancer with my sister um, and having a, a, a close family member who has a had it. Um, however, I am kind of having imposter syndrome kind of thing at the moment, thinking... Am I that bad? Am I? Do I really need to go on HRT? Um, there are other women out there that suffer a lot more than me, and maybe I would be using up a supply of HRT that somebody who does need it more desperately than me. So I'm kind of thinking um, at the moment, I don't really want the side effects of HRT, um, which can be headaches. Which I get quite a lot already, so she was a bit concerned about that, uh, thinking that they could make them it could make them worse. Um, weight gain, um, I have put on about a stone and a half with this menopause. Whether I would have done that naturally, I don't know because I'm not exercising as much as I should be. Um, but obviously, I don't want to put on any more weight, and also HRT can make you bleed. Um, can be just spotting and it should only last for a little while but you know I haven't had a period since 2018 I don't particularly want to go back to that really um the veggie rocks that she gave me yesterday as well and I mentioned in my previous post that can also make you bleed as well so I haven't started using that yet um and I don't know whether I will at the moment so uh, me and Mark had a good chat about everything last night and um, I'm kind of thinking that I wanted to go down the, the supplement route um, at least to try that first so um, I have been taking Menno Pace which obviously is quite cheap so it's quite affordable and it has got the soya isoflavones I don't know how you pronounce that and various vitamins 22 nutrients it reckons in there um, I'm not very good at taking them, I must admit, some days I do forget, so whether I haven't been doing them very well, I don't know, and maybe because I've lapsed a little bit, that's why I've started to have um, some symptoms all of a sudden, well, for the last six months or so, but yeah, I've been taking them for quite a while, um, apart from turning my wee very yellowy green, I don't know what they really do really, so I'm not convinced about those. So I did lots and lots of research and I have basically spent a small fortune on a load of vitamins which I researched that might help. So I wanted to share that with you and obviously because there's a lot to say I might not be able to get that all on a Facebook post so I thought I would um, do the video. I have written things down so I'm going to be looking at my notes. Um, so what did I get? I got, first of all, glucosamine, MSM and chondroitin, which is good for bone and joint health. So I've been aching quite a lot lately, um, so I want to make my joints feel a little bit better. This has also got magnesium in it, um, so that is very good for the glucosamine is in good for increasing cartilage and fluid around the joints to prevent the breakdown. And the MSM is a potent anti-inflammatory used to treat osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, tendonitis, and it's also good for constipation, which I've kind of been suffering with as well. And the chondroitin reduces joint pain and stiffness. So that's a good one for me to take. I did buy it from Asda because I work at Asda and I get a discount. So that one was six pounds for 90 tablets and you can take one to two tablets a day. I'll probably just start off on one tablet and see how that one goes. Then I bought calcium and vitamin D. Calcium 
prevents osteoporosis, which obviously is something that um, HRT is supposed to help with because in menopause you are prone to osteoporosis if you're not careful. It's also supposed to keep you slim and trim, so hopefully that's going to help and it can come back to cancer and make your heart healthy and your bones and teeth as well, which obviously it says on there. So this one is 120 tablets and you take two a day. And I think this one was two pounds for a Mazda. So we'll give that one a go. Again, might just start on one tablet and see how we go, but it does say two tablets, so I'll probably do the two tablets. Okay, the next thing I got was Omega-3 fish oil. And uh, something that put me off this is whether it was going to smell or not. So let's have a quick smell. There's the egg of waft of fish. It is a bit fishy. But yeah, hopefully it won't make me smell fishy. And this is supposed to lower blood, blood pressure, slows down plaque in the arteries developing, reduces chance of abnormal heart rhythm, heart attack and stroke, which again um, is good with something that HRT is supposed to do. Uh, so heart disease, disease, and it's also good for brain fog and memory, which I've been struggling with quite a lot. So hopefully that one's going to be good. That one is a one a day capsule. I've got 90 capsules in there and it cost me three pounds. So it, most of these should last me three months. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll do a three month trial and, and see how it goes. So then I had to go to Boots because um, I couldn't find anything else in Asda. And I picked up evening primrose oil, which relieves hot flushes. So obviously I suffer from the hot flushes, as many menopausal women do. It's supposed to improve social interaction, so I'm kind of thinking that it's going to help me talk because sometimes I just don't get my words out right and I don't make sense, which makes me look like a bit of a muppet. It's also help, supposed to help with sexuality, provides hormonal balance, healthy skin and supple joints. So that's another one for my joint pain that I've been getting. Um, that one is, I got 60 tablets for that one and I actually got that one free because I did a, a buy free get the third one the cheapest free and that one was the cheapest which was seven pounds fifty for 90 tablets and you just take one a day of those so again that's three months worth then i bought black cohosh root now this is might increase the effect of estrogen which is basically what hrt does in some parts of the body and decreases it in the others so i'm assuming that that's a good thing um Good for hot flushes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, heart palpitations, tinnitus, which I've been getting quite loudly at the moment, vertigo, uh, so like dizziness and things, which is good because I've been getting that as well. Um, it's supposed to improve your sleep, which is good because night sweats wake you up so then you don't sleep and then you're awake for hours trying to go back to sleep again. Nervousness and irritability, so that's a good one. And then I also bought Gingo... Ging Go biloba again can't get my words out this is good for the libido and the brain it says on here so it can raise estrogen levels naturally improving hormonal balances and your moods so basically what I did with those is I wrote down all of my symptoms I numbered all of those and then put a number next to each one to see whether I was getting everything that I needed um, there was a couple bloating it kind of comes under the black cohosh, but I might need some probiotics for that. Um, whether I get those or not, I'm not sure. And then there was a few other things that you could get, which I may or may not get. I don't know yet, but you can get sage tablets. That's good for hot flushes and moods, but it's quite expensive. It was about um, £24 for 30 tablets, I think, which was quite expensive. Vitamin E is good for flushes and itchy skin. Um, I do get quite itchy legs, so I'm quite, you know, I might look into more vitamins like that. Uh, sea black buckthorn is good for vaginal dryness. If you're still perimenopausal, Agnus ca castus oil might be good for you. Um, red clover is another one that was quite expensive, but it is very good for menopausal women. It's good. Um, it, it's an estrogen mimicking soya isoflavin for postmenopausal. Helps lower levels of fat called 
triglycerides, I am no good with all these technical terms in the blood, to help prevent heart disease, which rises in menopause. Um, St John's wort, which helps with the moods, might think about that one. Vitamin C is good for brain fog, memory and mood. Vitamin B is good for brain fog, memory, concentration. And then something else called, it's got a capital L, tianine. T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E. -E. It's like a, a in green tea, I think. And that's good for mental alertness, reaction time and memory. And it reduces stress and improves sleep and reduces brain fog. fog. Frog, flog, frog, even. So that's another good thing. So I've bought these supplements. I am going to try them for three months and see whether they make any improvements um, before I make any definite decision on HRT. And as for the Vaggie Rocks, I might see if I can return them because I don't know whether I want to take take them. Um, I'm quite sceptical about this. Lots of people have been commenting on my Facebook posts saying that they have gone down the natural route and it did diddly squat for them. So um, I can but try, I'm thinking. I am also going to do things like improving my diet a bit more. I think I do have quite a healthy diet. I eat a lot of salads and vegetables and fruit. I make a smoothie in the evenings for pudding instead of having chocolate now. So I haven't had chocolate for ages, which I really do miss. Um, and I'm also going to exercise a bit more. I am a bit lazy when it comes to that. I'm on my feet all day at work and sometimes I get home and I don't want to exercise. But I have got some one kilogram dumbbells and I can do up to 60 squats and other exercises but because I've been aching so much lately I haven't really been doing those so I need to get back into that and I've also bought one of these this is really really noisy but basically it's called a smart hula hoop you put that around your waist and you swing the ball around I'm going to give that one a go as well because I have got a weight loss um a weight loss mission you say um i want to lose weight ready for daniel and diana's wedding which is mark's brother's wedding hello to you if you're watching um just so i look a little bit nicer and feel a little bit more comfortable in a dress which i haven't worn for a very long time so that is basically all i've got to say today i'm hoping some of you find that informative um, if you want to have any information i've kind of got it written down i can send that to you so just let me know but yeah i've done a bit of research online i also looked at whether you can take too many supplements and i think as long as i stick to the regular doses of what it says on the jars i should be okay it's not as if i'm going to be taking that five day of each thing i will stick to the dose and then i'm gonna just see what happens really if, if they, things improve then maybe i can drop one or two of the things and then just stick with some things that might work and just reduce them down a bit so if you're going to go down this supplementary route good luck to you if you're going to go down the hrt route good luck to you it's all our own decisions we are all different so who knows until next time for more menopause ramblings see you again bye